Thank you very much, Courtney. Uh, with the milder temperatures and the rising price of gas, maybe you're considering riding your bike through the winter. Well, we brought in Josh Markham from Mountain Equipment Co-op with some of the small things you need to do before you get out on the sloppy, on the snowy roads. Uh, let's talk about some of the changes we got to make to our usual bike. We got to talk uh, traction first off. I, I should be doing a different tire, right? Yeah, uh, you don't have to, but um, it's a it's a good idea too. It's definitely a, it'll be a little bit easier. So on this bike, I put on a studded tire on the front on the okay. front tire. Similar though. similar to this one we got here. Yeah, similar to this one, but for okay. a, for a different style of wheel. But uh, yeah, it's basically got metal studs in it like you'd find on a on a studded tire for a car. Okay. And then also the rubber they use is a is a special compound for the winter, so it stays supple in the cold. Just like my car tires, the cold's going to affect that rubber as well. Exactly. And this one again, the same idea. Yeah. This the one, metal. This one's a bit different. So um, what they've done here is it's uh, it's it's designed off of a gecko's foot, so it's supposed to be sort of like like all of these little kind of cuts in it. You can't see them very well, but um, there's all these little cuts in it. Yeah. And they're uh, they're basically just to increase the surface area, and then it's a very soft rubber compound. Neat. As well. Okay. So uh, we've got our traction, but we also have to make sure that we can stop, and we've got yeah. different brakes than what's on on my 10 speed. Yeah, for sure. So on this bike, we've got uh, mechanical disc brakes. Um, so rather than rim brakes, uh, which rim brakes are okay in the winter, but uh, because of all the grit and the water and that kind of thing. They're not going to squeeze the way they should. Exactly. Okay. And you'll wear out the pads a little bit more quickly too, or a lot more quickly in the winter than you would in the summer. You also said the hydraulic brake uh, could be yeah. trouble in the winter as well. Yeah, so hydraulic brakes work okay in the winter, but um, because it uses a hydraulic fluid, it's common to, to actually blow a seal on the brake rather than on a mechanical disc brake where you don't have to worry about that so much. So that's kind of a, a good idea to have on your bike. Too. People are going to notice you got some big fenders there as well. If you don't have them, you're going to need them as soon as you get riding, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It makes a huge difference. You'll get pretty sloppy if you don't have fenders in the winter. But And yeah. yours actually looks like you get a little extended on the end. Yeah, they are. these guys just have a, have a bit of a rubber extension on there. It's a, yeah, just in, as the bigger the fender, the better. The more the tire that it wraps, the better. So. And being seen is essential, seeing as we get like an hour of sunshine these days. Yep. Uh, so light on the back and a big light on the front. Yeah, for sure. This one on the front is a 200 lumen light. You can get them in models, uh, I mean, up to 700 or more lumens, which is extremely bright. And then they also have little yellow lights on the side there, so you can uh, be seen from the sides, which nice. is pretty handy. Never and also, in. these tires even, they actually have reflective strips on them too, so they glow pretty good in the winter. So Being seen nice. is a huge part of being safe when it comes to riding uh, in any city, and yeah. so is using your brain bucket as well. Yeah. Uh, I, like, I like the setup. Yeah, so this one's got a light on it. It's called a Viz 360, and so it's got the light on the front there as well, and then with the little yellow lights and a, and a flashing red light on the back there too, so it's kind of cool. Do you want to be able to, there you go, you want to be <laughs> able to, to be able to see and be seen whenever you're going, wherever yeah. you're going. Absolutely. Then we'll talk a little bit about gear. Yeah. Because those guys are going to be necessary, especially when the wind starts blowing. Yeah. So these ones, I mean, for today, they're really great at uh, being not that cold. Once it gets a little bit colder, these aren't quite big enough, but they're kind of cool. They're, uh, call them a lobster mitt. Um, so they just have two fingers. It's warmer than having separate fingers, right. but you can still operate your shifters and your brakes you quite easily. You can still do everything you need to do and you're keeping all that heat in there. Yeah, what's absolutely. the number one thing though? If I decided that this is the winter, I'm going to go ride through the winter. What's the one thing I, I need to keep in mind? Um, I think the one thing you should keep in mind maybe is uh, your bike maintenance more than anything actually. Like there's no, I think the mo the my point would be that you uh, anybody can ride outside in the winter if you've got a bike and some warm and a warm jacket. You right. can go for a ride in the winter, but uh, you know having your lights on your bike is super important, and then maintaining your chain and your gear and your drivetrain. Just like in the winter, my car takes a beating. Your bike in the winter, my bike's going to take a beating for as sure. well. Let's yeah. check in. Uh, what, three seconds left. Let's check in on weather conditions. Here's Jenica.